All right, guys, so we are actually, oh, my mama changed up the cabinet. We are actually in the garage looking at the bed that I'm actually going to switch up and change. This is my sister's old bed. Um, so what I'm going to do is just reupholster the headboard part of it. And then it's going to go into my old bedroom that is now the guest room. So let me just come outside and show you what it's looking like. So here's the uh, headboard. So this is the old um, fabric that was on the front of the headboard. So my dad right now is pulling the screws out of the back here and my mom's storing it in this little bag here so that we don't lose them down the line. Um, but yeah, we're gonna pull it out and then if you can see back here, there's little staples in here. So once we pop this out, um, it looks like all you have to do is just pull the staples out and then put the new fabric on there and staple it. So that's what we're going to do. Go shopping for uh, fabric, see what will work, and then get this reupholstered and set up for in that bedroom. First spray now. So this is what it looks like. All I have to do now is just take all these pieces out and look, it looks like it's already coming out. Yeah. It's really already okay, popping. let's mark them. In the back? Yeah. Uh, the panels in this, because if you don't, the, the screws up. are not going to match back up. Okay, definitely we'll do that. Yeah. So we just got to repeat this two more times and we'll be done. So you're trying to get these off right here. And what we gotta do is, I guess use our fingers or a paint scraper. We're trying to find a paint scraper, but this piece just comes right off. It's the old leather that was- Pleather. Or pleather, sorry. That was used um, for the headboard. We took that off and now we are pulling this off so it doesn't show on the front when we reupholster the headboard. Alright, so yesterday we bought this fabric from Hobby Lobbies. So now I'm gonna go ahead, fold it in half, cut this in half, and then cut it again so that we can have our three panels. This actually we got enough to make four panels. Um, so I'm just gonna cut them in four pieces and then go from there to stapling it and adding it to the headboard. Now that we have cut all the fabric, it is time to remove all the staples and get the new fabric added to the headboard panels. Today we are actually headed to Ikea. So uh, me and my mom are going to go to Ikea. Um, I know we need a dresser for in between these doors. I want to put something there. Um, and then uh, we need to get something for this wall back here. It's a big wall and there's nothing on there. And my mom wants to add something to that. And then um, over here we're actually going to add shelves on both sides over here but we also need some window treatments and I need some new bedding for in here um, and then some storage so she could have and store her stuff so we're just going to go to Ikea walk around see what we find and go from there Ooh, guys we made it to Ikea oh, look at cool. all these cars Ooh -wee. and then it's a line of people just to get in yep. Ooh -wee. Look at all these cars. Look at them people over there, guys. Yeah. Tons of people. Oh, Lord. We might, we might have to order to go and just pick it up with, uh, on another day. Maybe it is the, look at that line, guys. Look at that line. Oh, no, I ain't standing in line oh. for that kill, y'all. Oh. All right, guys, so we just parked and we are headed into Ikea. Walk into Ikea. <laughs> We're looking for what stuff for 
the bedroom. I know we were looking for stuff for the new guest room, which was my old bedroom. And we need to grab stuff for my nephew's rooms. Uh, I have that already on a list of stuff. Um, we had to come through during the week because there was a long line last time we came and we weren't waiting in line. So yeah, just to get in who it was, it was all the way to the end. So now we are um, headed in and gonna grab our stuff. See y'all inside. This right here, Shadis could have something like this in her office space, $800, and it pulls into a bed. That's probably what a lot of these are. Yeah? yeah oh, that's too simple. Yeah, she can, this is what she needs right here. All right, guys, we grabbed all the stuff. We are back at the car, got a cart full of stuff that we are about to load into my mom's car hello everyone so we are again in my childhood bedroom and we are focusing on the closet today guys let me turn this around look at this closet it is full of all the stuff that my mom just pulled out of the room and put in here this is all my stuff i have trophies my violin my little tigger dolls guys i used to love 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 tigger so i have tiggers all up here back there right here and just tons and tons of stuff so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and come in this closet everything and see what I can keep for myself what we could donate and talk so I'm gonna start organizing the closet first thing first as a Texan you have to have a cowboy hat I actually have not one not two what three cowboy hats guys so we got everything out of the closet it's pretty much empty let me turn this side off so it's pretty much empty i have my nephew's clothes that are back here uh, my dad's stuff's in here so all his stuff are his dj equipment and then i have one other thing in here i have to look at but guys look at all this stuff i have tons and tons and tons of stuff here i have an old recorder guys an old recorder probably from what is this? Middle school, maybe? I'm gonna play a little tune for y'all. Y'all wanna hear Lion King? Oh, I can't play it. Well, I can't play the tunes. But that's that. And I even have my ballet shoes, my point shoes, my jazz shoes, everything in this. This is my dance bag here. Oh, and my little ballet shoes. So that's my dance bag. I have my. Viola here that I play. Got my trophy over there from the pageant. Plenty of dolls. And you hear my nephew playing the recorder. So, yeah, guys, I got tons and tons and tons. Even a collectible, a collectible brandy doll. What about that? Wonder how much that goes for, guys. And, ooh, I forgot I had this. This, I collected all the quarters of each 50 states. So every single quarter is here, which I also don't think this will be worth anything, but it was pretty cool to collect when I was younger. And then I found this. Elementary school, guys. Look at Siobhan right here. Elementary, I'm right here. There I am. With these overalls on. I thought I was cute, I guess. But anyways. That's all, this is all that I have. I'm gonna sort through it and go from there. All right guys, so this is the last day here in Texas. I'm so sad to go, but I had an amazing time. I finished up 
so many spaces. I finished my sister's home. So we did my nephew's bedroom, both of theirs, um, the playroom, her office space. And then we finished up my childhood bedroom here. So guys, I've been busy, but I've had so much fun. Anyways, let me just turn the camera around and show you the final look of my childhood bedroom. I think I showed you the before when I first got here, but let me just show you the space now that it's done. Here is the final look of the space. So when you walk in, you come in and of course you see the bed frame. This is my sister's old one. It actually had black panels. We changed it out with those gray fabric uh, panels. We added a new comforter and shears up here. We have artwork all on the wall and this is my mom's delta wall here. So we did a little collage wall here with the images that she has um, and then gave her a lamp, some storage there. But up here we um, hung some shelves and put all her delta items up here. So this is what this is looking like. And then we added a clock. My mom did not want a TV in here since not a lot of guests are in here at all times. So we just accent it with a clock and that is it. And we gave her a nice little rug that brings in all the reds, creams, grays from the headboard, the shears and everything else. guys so that is it again thank you so much for coming along this process and coming to Texas with me um, again we are heading to Nashville back to Nashville then Wisconsin and I'm gonna share with you everything that we're doing then talk to y'all soon bye got the cowboy on got the cowboy on got the cowboy on got the cowboy on